Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a review of Jackie Anna's palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited about this palette, so I'm going to share with you guys all my thoughts about it. Um, a lot of people have also been comparing it to some other Anastasia palettes. So I'm going to share with you some shade similarities with the Norvina palette, the Modern Renaissance palette. I got some other Anastasia palettes we're going to compare it to because I have them and why not. So we're going to talk about all of those. We're going to do this eye look with Jackie's palette and you guys will get all of my thoughts about this palette as well. So if you guys want to know everything about Anastasia's new palette with Jackie Ina, then just keep on watching. All right, so the new Jackie Ina palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills retails for $45. It's available on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. That's where I purchased mine. And then it's going to be available online and in stores at Sephora and Ulta on August 15th. So this palette has 14 shades. It also comes with a brush, the same brush you get with all the other Anastasia palettes. Um, in here, there are eight shimmer shades and then six matte shades. And then three of the shades, these three shades, Supreme, Pinker, and Big Wig, are pressed pigments. And then some of these shimmers are um, foiled shades as well. So those are all of the shades in the palette. I was really excited about this palette just because I thought it was pretty different from other Anastasia palettes. I looked at all the shades and I'm like, I can see myself wearing pretty much every shade in this palette. I was definitely excited about the shades in this palette. I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches so you guys can see them all up close. But I definitely thought that it was a bit different from other Anastasia palettes. There's some more like bolder shades, a little bit more dramatic shades and like brighter tones as well compared to some other Anastasia palettes. It still has that mix of neutrals and bolds. Um, we've had some bolder palettes lately like the Riviera palette or the Alyssa Edwards palette. But this is just like a really good mix between those neutral palettes like Soft Glam and something like the Alyssa Edwards palette. I feel like this is very universal with the different shade selections. So those are all 14 shades in the palette. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in, show you guys some swatch comparisons and some shade comparisons to other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. All right, so getting into some palette comparisons with some other Anastasia palettes and some shade comparisons within those palettes. The palette that the Anastasia um, Jackie Ina palette has been compared to the most, at least what I'm seeing like on Instagram, is the Norvina palette. And I can see the comparison because this has a lot of like warm tones, pinks, and purples. And so does this. It has a lot of warm tones, pinks, and purples. So just looking at both of them, you see those pops of purples, pops of oranges, and a few pink shades. But really, when you actually swatch them compared to each other, they are very different palettes. Palettes. You can definitely see like the pinks in here are going to lean um, more neon, bolder compared to these that are a little bit softer and the purples are more vibrant in this palette. Like you can see this like neon purple big wig up on the top and shooking tint as well. And then the purples here are a little bit more of like a taupey purple or shades that have more of like a purpley um, shift to them. So within both of these palettes, we have um, four shades that are similar to each other. So on this side, I have the Jackie Ina palette. And then on this side, it's actually a mix of similar shades in the Norvina palette and the Modern Renaissance palette that I'll talk about in a second. But first of all, in the Jackie Ina palette, we have the shade Soleil. And that's pretty similar to the shade Dreamer from Norvina. It's also similar to the shade um, Primavera, if you're familiar with that in Modern Renaissance. It's always just like a lighter shimmer shade that you're going to find in most eyeshadow palettes anyways. And then we have the shade Zam in Jackie's palette, similar to the shade Summer, but you guys can see the undertones are very different. This one is definitely like a little bit more rose gold, and this one is a bit more bronzy. Then we have the shade Shookington, which is more of a shimmery purple shade. And then in the um, Norvina palette, it's almost more like periwinkle. It has a little bit more of a cool tone, lighter hint to it, where Shookington is just more of a true purple. And then these are actually all from Modern Renaissance, these two in the center. And then down here we have the shade Credit, which is a dark brown in Jackie's palette. And that's similar to the shade Passion from um, Norvina's palette. They're both kind of like reddish tone, darker browns that have a little bit of a purple to them. So just take these two out and those are the ones that are similar in Norvina and Jackie's palette. But you can see nothing's identical. There's just like similarities and there's shades that are going to be similar kind of regardless. So you're going to get a dark brown, you're going to get a light 
kind of standard bronzy gold shimmer shade. So basically you won't get the same look with both palettes. Now comparing it to Modern Renaissance, which also has a lot of mauvey tones, a lot of purples. This is so different from each other. Like there's a couple mattes that are similar, but this is such a shimmer palette. It has eight shimmers in here, and this is a mostly matte palette. And even like the transition shades, there's a lot more light transition shades in here. There's a lot deeper transition shades in this one. There's a lot more color in here. Um, we have two shade similarities. We have the shade Love Letter, which is this kind of purple shade up here. And also the shade Regal, which is this orangey shade. Those are kind of the only two similarities. So these are the two shade comparisons with the Modern Renaissance palette. Here we have the shade Pinkier from Jackie's palette, and this is the shade Love Letter in Modern Renaissance. And then this is the shade Edges in Jackie's palette, and this is the shade Regal in Modern Renaissance. So those are really the only ones that are very, very, very similar to each other. Um, they are true matte shades more of a burgundy kind of violet shade, and then a matte, dark brownish orange shade. And then if you take a look compared to some other like neutrally Anastasia palettes, I have Soft Glam, and yeah, there might be like a warm brown similarity, like the shade, was it? Sienna is probably similar to this shade, like Ginger over here, but you're gonna find that in every eyeshadow palette. Otherwise, they are very different. The pink and purple shimmers in the Soft Glam palette are way more neutral on the eye compared to like all of these pinks and purples that are really gonna show up like pink or purple. And then lastly, the other Anastasia palette I have to share is Soul Treat. This is just a cool tone, very cool tone to palette. Nothing to see here in terms of shade similarities. All the mattes are different. All the shimmers are different. Maybe like the goldish shade is a little similar to each other, but that's kind of like another standard shade. So nothing really similar in there. All right, so those are all of the shade comparisons across my Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. I love doing these because I just love Anastasia shadows and just swatching them and comparing them. It makes me so happy. It's like a passion of mine at this point with all these palettes. Um, but that is kind of all the comparisons in case you guys were curious on how the palettes were different from each other. So let's go ahead into the tutorials. You guys can see how I did this look using Jackie's palette. All right, so getting into the tutorial, for sure I want to apply the shade edges on my lid and I love to do like a warm crease with a green so I'm going to start with the shade ginger as a transition shade it's a little darker than what I normally apply for a transition shade so I'm just going to start off pretty softly and then just keep building it up and I really like that in this palette this shade is still a warm brown but it's not too orangey and then she has a separate orangey brown shade because that definitely makes a huge difference in a look if it's like more orange or more brown tone but I really love this for a transition shade. So I'm going to stick with that same shade. I'm using a small tapered brush from Luxie just going back in with the shade Ginger and I'm just going to pack this into my outer corner. I'm definitely going to go in with that shade Credit as well but I just want to keep the lighter tone brown first and then just finish it off with credit. Then I'm going to apply the shade credit with a small pencil brush and even though this is a dark brown it does pull a little bit more warm so it's going to layer well with the transition shades. Almost has like a slight like eggplant purple hint to it. Definitely not cool which I love sometimes that looks like a little too gray on me. So that's it for the crease for now. I'm going to go in with the shade Sponsored. I have a feeling this eye look is going to take me like two more minutes because Anastasia shadows and looks that I do with them, I always do really quickly because they are very pigmented shadows, very easy to work with, very easy to blend out. Love this shade. Oh my gosh. I love this shade so much. I'm so excited. I used to be obsessed with this kind of eyeshadow like two years ago. The shade in the original Tarte um, Pro palette, the big palette from Tarte a couple years ago, there was a shade like that and I kept that palette around just for that shade. <laughs> I don't even know if I have that palette anymore, but honestly that was like the only shade I was using because I was so obsessed with it. I just feel like it's a really pretty kind of green on my complexion, on like more um, yellow tone complexion. And I also am making this a little bit more dramatic just to 
just to do so but i actually love greens like this just like apply it lightly with like a little bit of a warm brown basically a really toned down version of this look even just for an everyday so i'm just gonna add a little bit more of the shade credit to finish off my outer corner and i'm almost done i do think i want to add one of the lighter creased colors i love this how it looks right now but just to throw in one more color because i also feel like this is it's just so easy to do i look sometimes with these um shadows from anastasia because they're always so pigmented and they look good without having to try too much but i'm just gonna add a little bit of a shade trust issues and this is kind of like a shadow topper it has like a little bit of a gold hint to it. it's a little bit more of like a textured shadow i didn't want to apply it in the center of my eye because i feel like the duochrome speaks for itself enough let me just diffuse that out a little bit but i did just want my lid color go to go from like light to deep this shade just adds a little extra dimension so just adding the shade ginger to my lower lash line i also just applied a little bit of a brown liner and then this eye look is basically done which took me like three minutes for like a kind of colorful really shimmery eye look all right so that is the look i'm gonna apply lashes and it's gonna look 10 times better especially because it is a little bit deeper it's gonna open my eyes back up but i feel like i just put on like two eyeshadows in like 30 seconds because it was so quick to do this eye look and i that's just what i love about anastasia palettes that it makes it look like you did so much more for such quick easy makeup so i'm gonna apply some lashes and then i'll go ahead and finish up with this review all right so this is the completed look in case you guys are curious about my lip color i'm wearing the shade stealth from buxom this is like my favorite lip pencil of all time and one of my favorite lip colors in general and then i'm topped it off with a gloss from lancome the name is not on it anymore so i will link it below it's like a plumping um shimmery lip gloss that i love as well but this is the final look and i could definitely wear this eyeshadow like pretty much every day i love the shade sponsored it's probably my favorite in the palette i love just like green tones like this especially for fall and i love that there's so many good fall shades in this palette especially um wigglies this is a gorgeous like burgundy color and then we have some purples and i think that's what i really love about this palette because there's not a lot of palettes that i can do like an olive look a rose gold look a bright pink look a burgundy look a purple look all within the same palette and have every shade be awesome awesome quality so that's what makes me really excited about it i love like every single shimmer shade in here they're all colors that i normally wear personally as well and then all of the transition shades are pretty unique as well i don't think that there's anything that's like unnecessary with the transition shades or too many shades that are like too similar because they are pretty unique from each other and there's enough like pinks and purples to work with those kind of colorful shades enough like uh, more neutral tones as well so there's definitely a lot of variety in here and there's definitely so much more variations in colors compared to i think pretty much every other palette that i shared with you guys today and even with there being so much color in this palette you still have a lot of like neutral looks that you can do with it so you're never going to just commit to only color with this palette which i really like about it so i'm definitely a fan of the palette and the color scheme for sure this is definitely not a palette that you're going to get bored with after a couple weeks because there's so much variation in here and so many different looks that you can do with this palette you guys will definitely be seeing some instagram tutorials with this palette coming up in the next um, couple weeks but that's pretty much everything for this video basically the formula is the same as other anastasia palettes and i believe that the anastasia eyeshadow palette formula is the best like i've ever tried in my life honestly so absolutely no complaints with the formula everything's pigmented everything shows up nothing is like overly powdery or chunky or anything like that so really awesome formula really awesome color scheme everything's very unique as well and not too much similarities with the other palettes that i shared with you guys so that is going to be everything for today's video. Let me know if you guys picked up this palette. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Um, and also let me know what eye look you would like to see next with this palette because I'll be filming some more in the upcoming weeks. But yeah, that is everything for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.